Hello, hello everyone out there in Google land or YouTube or wherever it is that you're joining us from. My name is Patty Alfonso and I'm the creator of Pole Dancing for Consciousness. And I recently had a couple of classes um, in Denver and in California. And I was doing a Google Hangout with my amazing host, Gosha, and she had suggested that after the classes, we get together with a few women and just chat about what that experience was like for everyone. Um, I totally get that pole dancing for consciousness, like people go like, huh, what is that? I don't get it, like what? <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to sort of gather with these amazing women who chose the class and see what it was like for them before, during, after, see um, any changes that have come up or anything like that. So I am here today with Gabrielle Venna and Gosha Lawrence and Jenny Lynn Cooley and we are all access consciousness facilitators of some sorts <laughs> and um, yeah let's chat. So good morning ladies, how are you today? Who would like to go first? <laughs> good morning. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi. If y'all want to introduce yourselves and say a little bit about you, and then just you know, we'll just jump right in and see what shows up. I can start. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I can start. I always was so attracted to this class and always wanted to take it, and never kind of worked um, location-wise or time-wise. And then I thought, why not just bring Patty to California to take the class? And <laughs> yeah, it had like every time I looked at it, something really yummy showed up in my body. So um, I was so grateful that we actually did it finally. And uh, what an experience. But I know we're going to be talking about it more. And I was supposed to actually introduce myself. So I am Gosha Lorenz. <laughs> I am in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm Maxis Consciousness Certified Facilitator and I love doing what I do. What else would you like to know? <laughs> How does it get better? So, um, well, we, you and I, Gosha, had talked, I think, at the level 2-3, the Access Consciousness level 2-3 in San Diego, and we talked about the class and, and I was wondering if you could share with us, because I know you have perceived a lot of what the class um, could be for you so maybe if you could share with us a little bit about that and then what the class was actually like the day of and how your body feels today Wow yes what a difference yeah. so <laughs> from the beginning I was getting like every woman should take this class every woman should take this class every woman with the body yes with the body do not forget that I <laughs> should take this class <laughs> Gosha lives in my world, yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talk to the entities, hello. <laughs> so, because, like, we are this yummy, beautiful beings with the body, and somehow along the way we forget to, to show it, to embrace it, to be it. We shut down the places that would mostly express us as as women, as beings, and as men too, because I know you have uh, men in those classes as well. So we start to be like the rest of the society. So shut down, lock down, uh, sheltered, build walls around us, and it doesn't really work. Like we are a walking, talking sexualness. We are the yumminess. We are the juiciness. We are the invitation. And our bodies are just so amazing and nobody talks about it in this reality. They talk about nutrition and exercises and blah, 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 blah. But nobody really like taps into the essence of what the body is. And I was getting that your class actually addresses it. And it's not a normal just a body class. We've, I've attended a lot of different three-day body classes, healing classes and all of that. This was different. It was movement, consciousness and body. Like how does it get any better? So uh, how you somehow put it together, I could, um, I could step into the energies that I knew were somewhere in me, yet I could never kind of be that. I could never pull it out. I could never express it and 
it seems so easy when you were the invitation with your body. It's like my body knew what to do. I didn't really have to like even pot and pop myself, facilitate myself, ask myself big questions. It was just like, oh yeah, I can do it. Hey body, can you do the, the, the upside down thing? Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> so everything was just so <laughs> easy and natural and uh, you know, moving of your butt and all of that. Like I don't do this stuff and suddenly I could. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you said, and that's like a a thing for everyone. You said your the invitation that your body was to that, and this is a lot of like what a lot of us are talking about in access consciousness. And Dane, with his book, being you changing the world. I mean, what contribution can you be when you're just being you, and your barriers are lowered, and you're being vulnerable, and you're being really, really aggressively present and aggressively kind um, so thank you awesome <laughs> and your body did love going upside down it was just like I want to try this I want to try that I want to do this I want to do that it was so much fun it was so much and fun. you know and you know what happened I um, I have a schedule of um, of a gym we belong to a gym uh, and we moved here in June of last year and the schedule had been hanging on the on the fridge with highlighted classes that I want to take since June last year I've been to class once since June last year <laughs> and, and the other night I just like glanced at it and my body went yeah! and I was like you wanna go there's class 8 o'clock Pilates you wanna go it's like yeah take me and I went <laughs> And I went, and I, it was it wasn't the hardest of Pilates that you can take, but still, I normally would be totally sore the next day, and I wasn't. My body was so happy to be moving, and it was so so graceful and just so easy. It was amazing. So I know, Patty, it's you. I know it. <laughs> ah, it's you. It's you. You chose it. When we start, when we start to really open that lines of communication with our bodies, and you know, we listen, and the body says, "Yeah, I'd like to do that." And then you listen to that, and you go, and you choose it, and you do it. It changes something for you, and you're not necessarily going to be sore or you know anything like that after class because your body, like you said, is happy. It's like, yay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> is there anything else, honey, that you'd like to add? Um, how was your body after the class, or how do you feel today? Have you noticed anything different besides, you know, your desire to all of a sudden attend Pilates classes? <laughs> Are you asking me still? Yes, darling. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what it is? I am more present in the body. Uh, I am more. I don't know, there's this energy that's kind of undescribable, indescribable that is there. Like this feminine, feminine, sexy, but in a really yummy and inviting way. It's like I notice wherever I go, people look at me more, more and smile. And, and it's not only men, it's also women. So I know my body's mm. being an invitation to women as well, which is, you know, yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And what What's it like receiving that energy? Because I can perceive, like, when you say, oh, people are looking at me more, men and women, there's this thing that comes up of, like, ah, you know, in people's universes. So what's it like receiving that and being present to that energy? Way easier, way easier. Before I had to be kind of become conscious of that, that this is happening, lower my barriers, expand, okay, receive, 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 even somebody who, like, has some weird, creepy energy around it now it's just like receive receive and enjoy it yeah mm. so there is a difference awesome. it's more easy awesome. receiving yes thank you yay thank you honey it was so fun playing with you in class oh, <laughs> likewise totally and in, and in creating the class so um awesome so jenny lynn or gabrielle and either of you want to jump in and and share with us what it was like for you yeah i'll go next so, um, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So, um, my name is Jenny Lynn Coley. I'm actually a bar facilitator. And um, I remember when I first heard the little rumblings of you creating this class, I, there was almost like this little bitty, like, jealous envy in me. I was like, oh, I wish I was brave enough to create something like that. Like, it just, it was a beautiful invitation, but at the same time, it was like, that is so cool that she's like that brave to create something so expansive and, and something that has so much judgment around it in this reality. 
Um, and so I don't even think I shared that with you, Patty. <laughs> <Before you did. laughs> but, but it was so funny, like watching that come up. Like that's so cool, she could do that. I don't think I could ever do that, you know. Because um, and something that did come up and that we did talk about is I was like really buying into all the roles that I play as my identity. I'm a mom. I'm a community leader. Um, you know, I could never, you know, be seen in that way those kinds of things and just all these judgments that I had around all of that and my unwillingness to be seen and unwillingness to receive that judgment and I'm so so glad that I finally not only chose the class but asked you you know asked to host it and have you come here um, and I had some stuff come up during the class for sure and just noticing where I was buying into points of view about my body being locked down um, just from things you know that I experienced in my childhood and, and really was making real and true for me and it's been really really fun um, not only during the class but after the class because now I'm like doing things like on my morning run instead of running I'm dancing in the middle of the street <laughs> for people. <laughs> Can see me and judge me, and it's like it doesn't even bother me. <laughs> um, it's just been so fun to like watch myself just be happy again and find that like childlike playfulness and that sense of adventure and like just um, actually really being in my body and listening to it, um, whether it's like whatever foods it wants to eat or you know if it just wants to lay down and rest or go for that run or go dance or whatever it might be and so um, yeah the class has opened up so much for me in, in every area and I think everyone you know if it's calling to you if it feels light of course but everyone mm -hmm. should take it it's, it's a beautiful invitation to open up more than than anything I ever thought possible awesome I love that Jenny, if I if I could share Jenny Lynn in class, um, some of the things that were coming up for her was like she felt comfortable with this energy, right? Sensuality, sexualness, being with your body when she was alone. It was just like a just for me, just for fun kind of thing. And she we we sort of worked through a lot of that during the class. Um, and I love that the next day you were like out in the streets dancing, not really caring. She was like, I don't mind if I'm doing it myself, but it's kind of weird like having the girls in the class here watching and looking and, and there, was some, there was something there that totally shifted because the next day you were like out in the street dancing and <laughs> I just, it was so, it was so awesome. So awesome. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Um, is there anything else? Um, what's it been like? You talked a little bit about that, you know, like after the class and the things that have opened up for you. So besides like your ability to receive, you know, the judgment of being dancing down the street, is there anything else that you would like to share about what the class was like for you and, and after? Um, oh, there are so many things that are like popping and flying around right now. I'm like, what do I share? Uh, it's, it's, been a contribution really to every area of my life like I just was noticing where I had shut down um, even being really open and vulnerable with myself and and looking mm -hmm. at all the things that I judged as bad or wrong uh, open and vulnerable in, in relationships um, there's just a lot more joy in everything even um, some money stuff expanding for me and and some other possibilities showing up there and so it like the there were the things that have shown up are endless and I don't know that I'll ever be able to directly connect everything back to the class. What I do know is that I am just so opened up like a blooming flower in a way I never thought possible and it's just like every all these things I was thinking were limits before aren't anymore. So it's like, okay, what else is possible now? What now? What now? What now? Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's try this. Let's try that. So <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Patty. So, so cool. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so funny when I first um, was, you know, had the awareness of this class and started creating it, and I was talking to Gary about it, Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness. And for those of you who don't know, like, we're Access Consciousness facilitators, and I took 
um, the tools of access consciousness and I added them to pole dancing, obviously as you can hear, as a way to um, invite women and men to a new possibility with their bodies. And when I first started looking at this and talking to Gary, he was like, he, he said just notice if you're coming to conclusion about what this could create mm -hmm. and don't like focus on just this one thing what if everything could show up and everything could change in the past and I was like oh so I love that you brought up that your money stuff has expanded because really in this reality mostly you require money for your body you require money so that you have a house to live in. You require money so that you have you can put clothes on your body if you like to. You require money so that you can feed your body, so you can get a car to get from place to place. So a lot of things about money are with your body, about your body. So I love that that has changed for you and that that has opened up for you. And I think you also mentioned you know something about relationships and so. Pole dancing for consciousness, yes, it's an invitation for more communion with your body and what else is possible. Like, what else could this contribute to anyone? So, thank you. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to share, too, is, like, I used to do quite a bit, um, make a lot of videos and do Google Hangouts and stuff like that, and part of that, like, shutting down and not wanting to be seen, I had stopped. And um, I know it's a direct, you know, correlation with the class, I actually made a video on Earth Day <laughs> and like posted oh, yeah. it up on Facebook and everything and then I'm like, hmm, I'm on a Google Hangout today. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you showed up and chose to host the class. When I was in Denver last year, I remember you being really excited about coming to the class and then you didn't come and I was like, okay, well, you know, you choose it when you choose it, no problem. And then shortly after you're like, come, I'm going to host you. I was like, okay. <laughs> so how does it get better than that? Thank you so much for your contribution, all of you, to, to a pole dancing for consciousness, to me, to everything. So, yay. Alrighty, Gabrielle, what's up, girl? <laughs> Hello. Gosh. Yeah, what a ride it's been. I, um, I know. Yeah. I just, um, such an awesome class. And, you know, Jenny Lynn and Patty, you were touching on it. It's just, it's so much more than just movement with the body and, and communion with the body. It's consciousness. So it's going to infiltrate everything, right? All parts of our lives. And it's only been, what, four days? Three? Yeah. Four days since the <laughs> Who knows what's going to show up, but um, just in the class, some of the things I noticed and, and I was asking for because I had kind of locked myself up somehow through judgments or conclusions about things and I knew my body knows how to move. It used to move with a lot of fluidity and somewhere along the way I just sort of cut it off. and. So one of the things I asked you about in class was that I felt like when it came to movement beyond, well, even just walking, but dancing and, and stuff like that, that I become kind of robotic. You know, I felt like I was sort of moving like this through life, which isn't really fun and I'm particularly comfortable. And so, um, yeah, this class really invited that ease of movement and, and reminded me of what my body actually knows and what I know and um, that communion and communication with my body opened up so much and that's continued past class. I just I noticed that I can talk to my body about things and ask questions and I'm getting it so much faster and easier. I'm not making it hard which is probably you know part of it. Um, and like another piece of the class that I don't know if we've touched on is just you and your facilitation and the invitation you are. You now I'm going to get choked up. But the invitation you are Me too. To, <laughs> to just that total sensualness and sexualness and that that just all the yumminess as Gosha talked about with bodies that that's there and you truly are this brilliant totally in allowance, non-judgmental invitation to that, Patty. And, you know, we were friends before this, so I already knew that about you. But then, you know, this is the first time I've done a class with you facilitating, and it was just beautiful. And um, I would invite anyone that draw to this to choose it. I knew I wanted to do it for a long time, and so, um, yeah, it was just really beautiful. 
so Thank great. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm really grateful that all of you showed up and that all of you chose the class and and everything that, you know, it, it's, I, I named this hangout, you know, the courage to change and <laughs> made a funny tagline, you know, four women in a poll. And <laughs> <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> <laughs> I get that the class is different and I'm so grateful that you all had the willingness and the courage to perceive that difference and to really step into it for yourselves. And I love what you're saying, Gabrielle. I mean, it's only been four days and for Jenny Lynn a little bit longer, but what else is possible? And what else um, can change and show up and and the ripples of what we changed, you know, during the class will continue. And how does it get better than that? Um, I myself noticed another difference in, in my body. I was, uh, it, it's interesting, like, we have to really be aware, like, so present with ourselves and with our bodies all of the time. Like, there is no... Um, moment where you should go on autopilot or where where that happens like really really present moment awareness all of the time with your body and even after the class like I was walking my dog and I felt that sway in my hips and I was like oh like I myself had locked up a little bit since the last time I had taught um, the classes and you know we get so wrapped up in work and our lives and doing and creating and all of that is amazing and you know taking the time to really be with our bodies and that sort of little sway in my hips that that just loosened and it was just so yummy and I just was so grateful um, for the class myself and for what it continues to create for me and, and in my life so thank you thank you so much does anyone else have any last minute things that you'd like to add or <laughs> I was yeah, just raising your hand. I just realized that um, my skin is way more sensitive to touch, and and you were bringing it up a few times in the class, like feel the fabric on your skin, feel this on your skin, feel the touch, and I thought, you know, we we know when we touch each other, right? Like when somebody touches you, and I always have little hands touching me and grabbing me, so. I've noticed that I kind of developed this little like lack of sensitivity of touch, the sensualness that we talk about, um, because now I put a fabric on and it I can feel everywhere it touches my body or there's something scratchy. It's like, ah, I can take the scratch. Before, I wouldn't even care. It's like I would keep going. And it's amazing. I, c I can feel my, my hair on my face and, and something like some thread was on my face. I was like, oh, it feels so good. So this was a very, um, very different, very. I don't think I ever, ever noticed like fabrics on my body and things and hair on my body before, like to really notice and be aware of it and enjoy mm -hmm. it. So that's yeah. then I always read about, you know, the element of, se um, of sex and the sensual uh, sensualness and Sensualness, right? A sensual, yeah, yeah. both, uh, yeah, and and um, sexualness and sensualness, and I could never really get it. I could repeat it, I could talk about it, but I was not sensing it. I was not experiencing it. So this is huge for me. This is really huge for me to experience the touch and the breeze and the sun and anything that nurtures my body. It, it's beautiful. That's a gift beyond gift so thank you honey yay yay thank you thank you for adding that man I have a few shirts that are really flowy and when I walk and I I sense them and feel them on my body like caressing my body it is so delicious so I can't wait for the next time you go shopping and you go buy clothes and you really start noticing like the sensation of your clothes on your body and on your and um, <laughs> you're showing us your skirt. <laughs> yes, that's I what it shows. I, I was I was sort of pondering this the other day about like, you know, sometimes we leave it up to our partners to turn us on, and that like it's up to them to um, turn us on and to for copulation and sex and all of that. And I was looking at like how being turned on is something that. 
I what's the word? I um it's my responsibility, you know. It's up to me to turn on my body and everything that I that I choose and that I am aware of sensorially with my body contributes to that. So this is totally part of it. So thank you for adding that. <laughs> um, so we just have a couple minutes. Anyone else uh, have anything that has popped up? Go ahead, Gabrielle. And this is on such more practical <laughs> level, but I was having so much fun during the class, and it, when we were done, Patty, you were like, you know, the bodies are kind of done. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, oh, we gotta go. We're done. <laughs> way home. Then I'm like, well, maybe my body was done. Good call, Patty. I was so sore, but in such a good way. The two days after, I had no idea how much I was using my body. It was just so much fun. Like, wow, <laughs> what a joy to be yeah. able to move like that, have fun, and actually get a workout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> to me, nice like that's benefit. like. Yeah, that's like the little side benefit of doing the classes because for me, you know, the joy in it is the joy of embodiment and, and the sensualness that is discovered and the sexualness that's, a, that's you know, embodied and awakened and I get to a workout. Like you really do use different muscles that you wouldn't normally use um, in any other forms of like exercise and I was a little bit sore as well but in that yummy where I was like, oh, hello body, gosh. I'm sorry I haven't been moving as often as you'd like me to and and I myself had to reconnect with that dialogue and reconnect with that communion so yeah thank yeah. you alrighty well unless anyone has to go ahead honey oh yeah I do <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were just going to talk for like 10 minutes but hey <laughs> how does it get better <laughs> Uh, it's been so interesting and thank you Gosha for what you said about like the sensitivity because I've even noticed how much more aware of like energies in my body and around my body that I have been since the class and um, you know it, like all the really cool tools of access are awesome the body processes questions and all that but like the movement piece there's something there um, that I noticed that really just expanded things in a whole different way um, and so paying attention to that and listening to that has been really huge for me and even over and above that like just as we've been talking like just watching and feeling the energy change in my body and, and watching it expand has been huge and the the funnest thing, being more aware of that energy, is I actually had my bars run for a couple of hours the other night, and it was the most expansive bar session I have ever had so far. <laughs> the, I had so much like, like literal orgasmic joy moving up and down and through my body, and it was like all the points that were being held, and the person running my bars could feel it too, and I was like, did you just feel that? And we are like laughing the whole time and I had never felt energy move in my body that much so it's like okay what else is possible now and um, you know again I know that it's just something opened up during the class Patty for, for me to even be able to experience that so it really is like okay what else is possible now yay awesome yay oh it just makes me so happy I'm so 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 grateful to all of you for showing up um, yeah, that was actually also one of the things that Gary and I, well, that Gary had said to me w about the class, about, you know, the possibilities was that it is an invitation with the body. I mean, we can sit around in class and we do require a lot of that verbal processing and the body processes and all of that. And to bring that into movement with the body, it's like it changes something not just on a sort of cognitive level but also on a on a deeper energetic molecular level with your body so thank you for that acknowledgement and that awareness of, of that um, so it is time now to say goodbye um, thank you so much again for coming on everyone who's watching everyone who will watch into the future if you'd like more information um, I have a free video series and you can get that at 
www.poledancingforconsciousness.com. I would love to play with you around the world. How does it get better than that? What else is possible? And if you'd like some information about Access Consciousness, you can go to accessconsciousness.com. And yeah, thank you ladies so very much. Such an honor, such a pleasure to play with you. And I will for sure be seeing you around the globe. <laughs> Have an amazing day. We'll Thanks. see you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.